Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah and a very good evening to all my beloved student. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad. Alright, so I decided to record video on technique of answering ujian amali science physics. Eh? So I really hope um you can follow, you can understand. And hopefully you can conduct your experiment uh, successfully uh, during your Ujian Amali Science, alright? Okay, so without further ado, let us see contoh soalan. So this is from Lembaga Perperiksaan. Eh? So for your Ujian Amali Science Physics, uh, you, will give it, you will be given 45 minutes, alright? 45 minutes, 45 minutes. So the first 5 minutes for you to check the apparatus. And then 40 minutes for you to conduct your experiment, record your data, tabulate your data and plot your graph and answer the question. Alright. So uh, actually there are two format for this paper. One is guided Ujian Amali Science but the other one is not guided. So I explain the first one first. Okay. Which means the guided, uh, the guided Ujian Amali Science. Uh. So... On the front page, you will see this. Okay. So, anda tidak dibenarkan bekerja dengan alat radas bagi 5 minit yang pertama. So, means that the first 5 minute for you to uh, semak senarai, semak senarai radas, baca soalan, rancang kerja. Okay. So, during this time, you can actually uh, draw your table lah. Okay, draw your table, maybe draw the axis of your graph. Okay, but you cannot uh, do the experiment yet. Nah? Okay, so say mark, check the apparatus, whether all the apparatus are given or not. Read the question carefully. You can underline the keyword and then uh, rancang kerja. Okay, so record semua pemerhatian dan kesimpulan anda di ruang disediakan. Anda boleh serah kertas jawapan dan kertas graf tambahan jika perlu. This one should be okay, right? Um, langkah penting dalam kerja mengira hendaklah ditunjukkan. This one also very important. And you can bring your scientific calculator. Okay, so misal 40 minutes for you to conduct the experiment and answer the question. Alright, so more or less the question will be uh, like this. Huh? Okay, so 15 marks, 15 markah. This is markah penuh, huh? 15 markah. So you will see um, example, right? Uh, maybe they ask you about the variable. Okay, example here is manipulated responding, one mark, one mark each. Then you conduct the experiment. You tabulate data in table. That will be 6 mark. Okay. And then plot graph. So from the data that you already tabulate in the table. So you plot your graph. That will be 3 marks. And then after you plot the graph, they will ask you what is the relationship of the two axes. So in other words, we can say that uh, you need to relate the manipulated variable and the responding variable that you already um. Uh, do, do it during the experiment uh, that will be one mark and then this will be based on your graph then after that you will be asked to maybe calculate the gradient or interpolate or extrapolate the graph all right so for gradient here two marks and then final finally they will ask you to predict if this changes then what will what will happen okay uh, predict okay so we look at this first all right so first on the um, first page you will see the apparatus given okay material and apparatus given so like this can you check one by one all right you check one by one so white rubber band example uh, the quantity is one you check whether you have this or not the retort stand how many retort stand half meter rule how many a needle, okay, how many? This is example, uh, um, 500 ml mineral water bottle, one hook, 3 cm, one, and then the measuring cylinder, 100 cubic centimeter, one, okay. If let's say uh, you, the apparatus, you have the apparatus, so you tick here, uh, you tick. If you don't have it, then you put up your hand, ask from the teacher in charge, uh. Alright, so example question. 
you are going you are going to carry out experiment to investigate relationship between mass of water m and the extension of the rubber band x okay so here from the first sentence here mass of the water m and then extension of the rubber band so normally if they give you like this so means that one is manipulated variable the other one will be responding variable now from here so which one is the manipulated variable which one is the responding variable okay so some experiment is very clear so like this right so this should be the mv because you can set this before you do the experiment and then this will be the responding variable because you need to do the experiment then only you can can uh, can determine the extension of the rubber band for this experiment you can see right uh, right so you have the bottle water bottle okay and then uh, you have the rubber band okay and then uh, make sure you set up the apparatus exactly uh, as in the diagram that they give in the question paper okay uh, like this you must make sure it is uh, exactly the same all right see uh, arrange the apparatus by hanging an empty bottle hanging empty bottle to the rubber band uh, as shown in the diagram and then measure the original length of the rubber band that will be L0 so it means that here uh, see if you can zoom in your question paper so be careful so look at this L0 is exactly uh, we measure it from the upper cup upper partner of the of the cap uh, cap of the bottle uh, here so measure from here not from here alright uh, so really follow the procedure okay uh. Uh, here also you need to be careful uh. Uh, uh, pay extra attention to the scale so it's either you put down here 0 up here 100 or up here 0 down here 100 which one is correct uh, you further reading first Uh, fill 50 gram of water into empty bottle and record the length of the rubber band L as shown. So we assume that 1 cubic centimeter is 1 gram. So if let's say you want to uh, fill in uh, 50 gram of water and this is what we assume. So it means that 50 gram water will be equal to 50 cubic centimeter because this is what we assume all right so one gram equal to one cubic centimeter so since you have the measuring cylinder so you can measure the amount 50 cubic uh, 50 cubic centimeter of water you pour in the bottle all right so of course uh, the rubber band will extend okay there will be extension so measure the value of l when the pin stop moving uh, record the value of l in the space in 4b uh, next page eh? then we repeat step 2 and 3 step 2 step 2 and 3 i think uh, step step 2 and 3 or oh, using the mass of water All right so you repeat by using 100 cubic 100 100 gram uh, 150 gram 200 gram and 250 gram so this one will equal to 100 cubic centimeter okay this is 150 cubic centimeter of water and so on right i really hope you can understand that huh? now in this case uh, in which way should you place your ruler zero above or zero at the base you want to determine the extension. Okay, which one is correct? Uh, should be zero above. Okay, uh, pay extra careful on this. Huh? Zero above here. And then 100 will be at the base. 100 uh, centimeter for the meter rule. Huh? Now look at the question. So based on the experiment that you have conducted. So you are required to state manipulated variable. 
corresponding variable. Ah, this one is from the first first sentence just now. You can see or not? Here. Okay. Investigate. The moment you see investigate the relationship, it will be followed by two variable. Okay, two variable mass of water m extension of the rubber band. So we know that this is mv. Okay, this is responding variable. Alright, uh, so it copy exactly the same. So mass of water copy together with the symbol if it, if they give you symbol. Alright, so mass of water m, and then the responding variable copy exactly as on that page just now. Extension of rubber band, okay, together with the symbol x. Alright, now if let's say you are not, uh, not sure which one is the manipulated responding, what should you do? Okay, so what should you do will be, look at this. Look for the word repeat. Repeat step 2, 3 using the mass of water. Alright, mass of water. So it means that this is your responding variable. Mass of water. Here. So repeat mass of water. So when you repeat, means that that is your responding variable. Clear not? I really hope this is clear. Alright, so with that, you can get uh, your uh, uh, first two marks, alright? So, one mark here, one mark here. Next. So, you need to calculate the extension of the rubber band X, extension of rubber band X, by using the equation below. So, this is the equation. They give you this equation. Alright? x equal to l minus l naught what is l what is l naught ah so here you need to look at the question carefully look at the symbol that they give you okay length of rubber band l l l naught l l naught so l is the length of the rubber band l naught is where is l naught mm. here can see measure the original length of the rubber band l l not so before means that uh, with empty bottle uh, that is l not clear or not okay so that is l not and then when you add in water so the bottle will uh, the rubber band will be extend okay maybe the bottle finally here so the this will be uh, when you add in water so this is your l so the extension will be x equal to l minus l naught so this is your l this is your l naught so that is why very important for you to make sure that up here is zero centimeter and then below here is hundred centimeter clear so read at the correct uh, side of your ruler. Alright, next. Then, you need to tabulate the value of Lx for each value of M in the space below. Now, you see. Tabulate Lx M. So, how many column? Three column. One, two, three. But, how do you know M must be on the first column. Uh, first column must be the uh, manipulated variable. Okay, so the mass of the water just now, that is the manipulated variable. It must be in the first column. And then X is the responding variable, should be on the last column. Clear or not? So this value, okay, is uh, I create the value. Okay, Let's say you do the experiment and let's say this is the value that you have. Alright. Uh, so you write it like that. Lah. And then make sure when you have your table, lah, make sure you draw the border of your table. Okay. Table without border have no meaning. Must have the border. Alright. Like that. And then, uh, so you write M, L, X. But don't forget, they must have unit. Centimeter for X. This is also centimeter, but this is gram. Okay, mass gram. Length, 
centimeter extension centimeter no need to change to meter just follow the instrument that you have so here you are using the meter rule right uh, should be in centimeter all right so uh, how about this value do you need to write the decimal point or not okay so again this one refer to the question here here right no decimal place so just copy 100 150 200 250 like that okay and then the length so this is using meter rule meter rule have one decimal place so make sure all have one decimal place let's say like this right 30 if you just write 30 that will be wrong okay make sure the number of decimal place are consistent so meter rule one decimal place okay so all must have one decimal place although this is 30 and 40 you need to write 0 0.0 0. is that clear or not i really hope this is clear all right then for the extension uh, so you let's say let's say l not is 10 centimeter let's say uh, so then make sure you have one decimal place also right so here extension will be uh, minus lah. so l minus l not so it means that here will be uh, 20.5 minus 10 so here will be 10.5 and then here will be 15.7 here will be 20 this is the data that i create huh? okay uh, you need to if let's like, say uh, during your practical test make sure you you do your experiment carefully okay careful with the parallax error and so on all right so here will be 20 22.4 okay here will be 30.0 don't forget okay now six mark how do we give this six mark how do we give this six mark it's like this huh? so the first mark will be for the name or the symbol so at least you have this mm. at least you have m l and then x for all the column that you have so means that now three column so you must have one two three then can get this mark okay make sure all three are written in the table okay m l x right so it's either you write the name or the symbol so it's good to make it a habit to write like this okay all right that will be the first mark all right second mark will be for the unit 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 here gram okay here centimeter here also centimeter uh, that is the mark for the unit clear or not make sure make sure one two three all have unit so make sure all the column must have unit then you get this one tick okay second tick then the data that you get okay uh if your data is um in uh, the same as the marking scheme of a marker right uh, so you will get for it for the data here means that the length uh, here this is your raw data if you get all of these all are in the range uh in the marking scheme of the marker so you get two marks there but let's say one is out of the range uh, katakan this one is wrong uh, uh, so it will be cross four so means that you get one mark only this Fahama? so that's why you need to do your experiment carefully because the marker have the range let's say uh, this 200 let's say the range is from uh, 25 to uh, 30 30 centimeter so if let's say <laughs> bukan, uh, yeah let's say 25 to 33 centimeter so if let's say your range are in here so means that here will be correct lah Fahama? And then uh, the fifth mark is for the calculate calculation. So this is from the formula just now, right? X equal to L minus L naught. So make sure all minus correctly. Uh, then you can get this. And then this will be for tick six. Will be for the decimal place. So all must have standard decimal place. Okay. Uh, so this is an easier way uh, for you to remember how um, markers give mark. Uh, for your data is that clear or not clear all right six mark there next 
Okay, next. So on the graph paper below, on the graph, bukan, on the graph paper that they provide, cikgu macam ngantuk-ngantuk lah. Alright, so on the graph paper provided, so you need to plot graph of X against M. Ah, so here, careful. So the first variable that they mention, that will be your vertical axis. And then the second variable that they mention, that will be your horizontal axis. Okay, so plot graph of X against M. So X must be vertical axis. X, vertical axis. M, horizontal axis. Clear? Alright, so let's say this is the example. Lah, huh? Okay, so when you plot your graph, make sure quickly you write the unit. Okay, unit. Because why? So the first mark here is for the uh, label of the axis which mean vertical axis must x must be x and then horizontal axis must be m following the question eh? and then um, you must have unit gram and then centimeter so both correct this is correct this is correct then you get the first tip because the graph here is only three marks and then so the second mark will be for the scale uh, this is for the scale. So make sure your scale are uniform and um, uniform and not odd scale. Eh? Uh, make sure not odd scale. So in, odd scale means very hard for you to read. For you, very hard for you to read the scale. So if let's say like this is uniform scale. Okay. And then don't forget zero here must be recorded. Must be written lah, zero here. Okay. So the scale, um, not odd scale, and then um, okay, not odd scale, so that will be your second tick. Then, when you transfer the point correctly, okay, you transfer the point correctly, class, that will be the third tick. I can say uh, this is the easier way, la. actually. Um, uh, in term of giving mark, they are a, a bit complicated. Okay, but I I better teach you just simple like this. Okay, uh, simple like this, so that you will be careful when you plot your graph. Okay, so make sure all transferred correctly from your table to your graph. So me say all of this must be correct. Okay. Mm. Oh, another one is I forgot. So, your tick 3 is also for best fit graph. When you plot your graph, the graph must be best fit. Best fit doesn't mean that it go through all the axis. Uh, it, the, the graph go through all the point. Okay, best fit means it has the same or nearly the same number of point above and under the graph. Okay, example. Lah. I just move this first. Right. Okay, so like that. Can see or not? If you if you if you plot like this, uh, this is not best fit. Why? Because you have uh, one under ketchup. Hmm. Let's say let's say you plot like this. Uh, this is not best fit because um, you have one. Wait. You have 1, 2, 3 above the graph And you have 1, 2 on the graph So there is none under the graph Under the graph means like this okay? uh, So this is not best fit graph So you need to plot your graph carefully Make sure it is a best fit graph like this Right uh, this is considered as best fit graph. Okay, later we will look uh, into more detail about this. Huh? Alright, that will be 3 marks. Then, so from the graph that you already plot, so you need to state the relationship between X and, uh, X and M. So this one is based on the graph. So here, if you get a straight line graph like this, it is a directly proportional graph. Okay, Ahama. I give you example lah. This one is actually from your form 4, chapter 1. Let's say you have...
Okay. So, let's say... Uh, we have graph of A, B, C, D, E, F. And then, let's say the graph is like this. Like this. Like this. Hmm. So, if you are asked to state relationship between A and B, what is the answer? Uh, this one is A inversely proportional. Inversely proportional uh, uh, to B. And then C and D. Uh, C and D. Uh, C increase linearly to D. EF. Uh, EF will be decrease, decrease linearly to F. Faham? Eh? If you get a straight line graph from origin, it should be directly proportional. And make sure you write full. Means that you need to have X in your answer, which means here. Okay. And then you need to have M in your answer, which means here. Make sure you don't write this only okay if you just write uh state relationship between x and m you just write directly proportional you might don't get the marks okay because you want to see what is directly proportional to what okay so this should be your responding variable this should be your manipulated variable okay your responding variable is directly proportional to your manipulated variable is it clear or not next one so calculate the gradient of the graph Calculate gradient K of the graph. Gradient. So, gradient. Um, so, they give you the symbol K. So, you can use like that. So, how to determine gradient? Alright. So, when... Okay, here they give two marks. But easy for me will be... Uh, I put it into three ticks. Huh? Okay, I used to tick a gradient um, by using three ticks. If you get all the three ticks, then you get two marks. Okay. So the first tick will be, uh, you draw triangle on your graph, big triangle on your graph, and then you sub you in the space provided. So you substitute the value of the two point, the further point lah. Okay. Then your final answer must have unit and correct decimal place. Okay, uh, don't forget, your, you, you cannot write your answer in fraction. Eh? Your final answer cannot be in fraction. It will be rejected. Now, uh, uh, what do I mean by big triangle? Okay, look at this. Right. So, let's say this is your graph. Eh? So, big triangle means, this is considered as big triangle. Okay. So, if you draw big triangle like this on your graph, that will be first tick. But if you draw like this, okay, small triangle, that will be no, no first mark. Faham? Eh? Actually, um, this triangle is drawn by looking at the point, this point. And this point. Which means the point uh, on your graph. Lah. Okay. So here. Okay. Since we choose the origin, right? So that will be 0, 0. Coordinate 0, 0. Then uh, this point is, okay, check. 250. Then here, 35. So that is the coordinate. 250. Oh, 35. 0.5. Uh, make sure accurate lah. Huh? Okay, so means that we are using this 2.1 and 2. So, these two points are further, which means uh, you take into consideration more um, data, okay, in your experiment for you to determine the gradient. Alright, so let's say just now, right, so I already copy here. So, you have this point, 0, 0, and then 2, 5, 0, 35.5. Now, to calculate the gradient, so we use this formula. Look at this formula. 
y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's say this is point, point 0.2. This one is point 0.1. Okay. So which mean this is your, uh, uh, means that here, uh, this is your x1, y1. Means that 0, 0. Your x2, y2 is here. x2, y2. So your x2 is 250. Your y2 is 35.5. So you use this formula and become like that. Okay. okay. So your y2 is this, right? Minus y1. 35 minus 0. Okay. And then your x2. X2 minus X1. Here is your X2 minus X1. 250 minus 0. Okay. Uh, that will be your second tick. Then you use your calculator. Uh, you calculate. No fraction. Make sure you write like that. Uh, you write. You can write more than uh, 4 decimal place. Okay. Uh, can write. You can write 4 decimal place. Or uh, even more decimal place also will be accepted. Okay. Next one. What about the unit? So, unit depends on the axis. So, the axis now is, vertical axis is centimeter, right? Okay, horizontal axis is gram, the unit. So, it means that uh, since y minus x, uh, so y, vertical axis over horizontal axis, so the unit is centimeter, centimeter, uh, vertical centimeter, divided by gram. This is vertical axis, this is horizontal axis so the unit is centimeter per gram like that if you want to write like this also correct bring g up also can okay not compulsory okay boleh um okay another another part let's say since since here is zero right zero what if you just write like this 35 35.5 divided by 250. Will you get tick 2 or not? Of course, the calculation, you will get the same answer as this. Lah. Okay, because here is 0. But will you get mark num tick 2? No. Okay, because if you do like this, okay, this is means that you divide the point. Like that, right? So this is coordinate 250, 35.5. So it means that you just... Use the point, point, but if you put minus zero, so we understand that you take into consideration, um, uh, this part of data, so because you use this this data and this data, understand or not? Okay, so that's why this is important. All right, last one. Uh, if a rubber band is added parallel. In diagram 1.2, where is diagram 1.2? Here. 1.2 here. So, the rubber band is added parallel. Another rubber band. Just now, you have one rubber band. Then, now, added one more rubber band. Okay? And hook to the bot bottle. Hook to the rubber band. Eh? So, if a rubber band is added parallel... So, what will happen to the extension of the rubber band? Uh, this one, you need to think logically. Okay, so the rubber band, the two set rubber band that are connected in parallel like this, uh, that will be um, stiffer, right? Stiffer, just like spring. Uh, stiffer. So, it means that the extension will be less, will be decreased. Uh, just write short answer like that. Can write like this, can write shorter, can write less, can write decrease. Okay. Boleh? Boleh faham? Any question? So, that will be the 15 marks. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15. 15 marks. 15 marks here. Hmm. Okay. Boleh? Can or not? So that is what I mean just now by uh, the first 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 mark uh, they ask you about manipulated responding manipulated variable the second mark is responding variable 
then tabulate data. Remember the how, how to get the six mark? Plot graph, three marks. Relate the manipulated variable and responding variable means that this one is from the graph. Relate the two axes of the graph. Okay, one mark. Okay, then the gradient, two marks. But I give three ticks. If you get all the three ticks, then you get two marks. Then predict. Okay, uh, what happened to the extension when another rubber band is uh, attached uh, parallel to the first rubber band. Okay, so the most important part uh, for the Ujian Amali science is how you conduct the experiment. Okay, because if you fail to conduct your experiment, then you will unable to get this data. If you don't have the data, then you miss a lot of mark. Okay. Uh, so the data also need to be correct data. So how to make sure you get correct data? Read the question carefully. Set up the apparatus as in the diagram. There will be diagram given. If the format is guided, uh, they will give you diagram. Okay, and you follow the diagram carefully. And then just like this, lah, when you want to read L0. So make sure follow exactly as given in the diagram. If let's say you measure L0 here, uh, salah lah. Okay, that will be wrong. Uh, so, need to really read the question carefully. Alright. So, if you have any question, uh, you can write in the comment below. Okay, I will respond. Um, so, this is the first part of the video. I will record another video and pause uh, so that you can see another example. Right, because I prepared actually three questions here. So that will be the first one. Okay, first question. Uh, this one is Ujian Amali Science uh, 2022. I will discuss this in next video. Uh, this one is Pendulum. Okay, then uh, last year. Uh, MRSM 2022 Ujian Amali Science uh. This one is example of not guided ex experiment uh, So this one I will record also uh, This is a bit different from what we discussed just now Okay, Because they ask you to You see that? Uh, write your own procedure Okay, Procedure Write your own procedure Hopefully you don't have this type of question uh. Okay, because you need to write yourself. And you need to think of what data you need to get from the experiment. Okay. And then what uh, graph they give. Luckily, they give what graph. And then predict also what happened. Alright, so I will continue. Uh, I will make another video for this. Lah. Alright, otherwise the video will be too long. Alright. So I really hope you can understand. Um... How how the Ujian Amali science for physics okay, will be conducted. So really hope you take extra precaution. Okay. And then try your best. Uh, don't be nervous when you enter the when you enter the lab. So apa, tarik nafas, do your breathing. Tarik nafas, jangan nervous. Okay, all will be okay. Alright, tarik nafas. Then, um, you apa, baca doa lah kan? Uh, doa your friend also. Alright, so hopefully all of you can answer the question um, perfectly, hopefully. I mean, alright, so see you in next video. Alright.